Welcome to FBLA PBL's webinar designed to provide FBLA PBL members and advisors the opportunity to elevate their future. I am National Membership Director Lisa Smothers and joining me for today's webinar are FBLA National President Max Mitchell, PBL National President Kimberly Clark, Professional Division National President Ryan Paul, and FBLA National Secretary Bruna Taveras. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. I'll answer questions at the end of this presentation. We bring business and education together through state and national leadership and educational activities such as the Stock Market came and the Virtual Business Challenge and service projects that help both the school and the community. Knowing and understanding our mission will help you sell the benefits of FBLA PBL to potential members, administrators, and the community. I'll now turn it over to Bruna who will give you a brief overview of our association. Bruna? Let's start with a snapshot of our organization. FBLA PBL is a nonprofit educational association preparing members for careers in business and business related fields. In 1942, the first FBLA chapter was chartered at Science Hill High School in Johnson City, Tennessee. PBL joined the organization in 1958 with our first chapter at the University of Northern Iowa. The alumni division, now called the Professional Division, was established in 1979. An FBLA middle level was added in 1994 for students in grades 5 through 9. FBLA is the largest division with 206,000 members. PBL has approximately 9,000 members. The professional division reaches over 3,800 members and FBLA middle level has more than 20,000 members. All four divisions work to uphold our mission. I am pleased to welcome each of our three division national presidents who will give you a brief update on the activities that they are focusing on this year. We will start with Max Mitchell who represents the high school and middle level divisions, then Kimberly Clark who represents our collegiate division, and then Ryan Paul from our professional division. Max? Thank you. Good afternoon members. My name is Max Mitchell and I am serving as the national president for FBLA, which covers our middle school and high school's members. We have a lot of exciting things planned for this membership year and we are taking measures to be more available to all of our members and offer our members and advisors all the resources they need to recruit, retain, and network. These resources will be added to the FBLA PBL homepage soon. In response to Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma, please stay up to date on the FBLA PBL website. We will be launching service opportunities to chapters who have been affected by these tragedies. From Puerto Rico to Texas, our organization is a family. If you have any questions for the National Officer Team, please visit our page on the FBLA PBL website where you can schedule a Google Hangout with an officer or read our ambitious program of work on how we plan to serve you. I look forward to serving all of you this membership year and our team is excited to find ways we can elevate your future. Kimberly? Thanks, Bruna. Good afternoon, members and advisors. My name is Kimberly Clark and I am the PBL National President. I am so excited to get to help you, all of the members elevate our future this year. This year, the PBL National Officer Team created an ambitious program of work where one of our goals was to increase our membership to 9,000 members and 475 chapters. In addition, we would like to extend communication to all members through the creation of roundtables that will give every member a chance to share their ideas with the National Officer Team and each other. We would also like to create and distribute toolkits that are full of resources for new and existing chapters and acquire new partners to provide tangible benefits to all PBL members. In addition, we would like to restructure and promote the PBL virtual chapter in order to give every member the same chance for success in the organization. Please feel free to reach out to the PBL National Officer Team for any reason this year. We look forward to helping you elevate your future. Ryan? Thanks so much, Bruna. Hi, everybody. My name is Ryan Paul, and I'm the National President of the Professional Division. As Bruna mentioned, the PB was first established for our alumni members. However, over the last 38 years, it has evolved into really so much more than that. This year, the PD National Officers will continue to focus on recruiting and retaining members, while offering even more opportunities for our members to get involved by connecting with Middle Level, FBLA, PBL, as well as other PD members. 
don't forget that membership in the professional division is open to anyone that's not currently a member of another division. That means you can recruit your advisors, friends that have graduated, your parents and their friends, community members, and business leaders. Please help spread the word and encourage them to join for only $25 per year or $30 in California. You can register online at fbla-pbl.org. Back to you, Lisa. Thanks, Ryan, and thank you to our three division presidents. This time of year, chapters are focused on new member recruitment. The most important resource that any chapter has is its membership. Many local chapters form a recruitment committee that involves both new and returning members. These committee members should talk to the different classes about the benefits that FBLA PBL offers. In addition to a membership card and publications, we also have sponsors like Men's Warehouse, Alamo, Geico, and Office Depot that provide discounts to our members. Remember, people like visuals. Create a chapter display case and keep it up to date with pictures, articles, and awards. And design chapter t-shirts for all members to wear on the day of chapter meetings. The FBLA PBL Marketplace can make custom chapter t-shirts for your local chapter. Talk it up. Members who are enthusiastic about FBLA PBL will spark an interest in other prospective members. It's never too early to start earning national recognition for next year's NLC in Baltimore, Maryland. In addition to recognizing our competitive event winners, we honor many outstanding members and chapters for their accomplishments throughout the year, including Who's Who for FBLA and PBL and the Young Leader Award for FBLA Middle Level, as well as scholarship winners and so much more. Today we're going to tell you about some of the programs that you can begin working on now to receive national recognition later. Back to you, Bruna. Thanks, Lisa. Our national programs provide our members with unique opportunities to practice the skills and knowledge that they are learning in the classroom. Another great way to earn recognition for FBLA is through the Chapter Challenge. This consists of Super Sweeps, Nonstop November, and Action Awareness. Super Sweeps is going on right now. FBLA middle level chapters have the Champion Chapter Award, and PBL chapters have the Outstanding Chapter Award. There are also, those, these are also open for registration now. All activities in these programs have been designed to help a, a chapter succeed from creating a program of work to recruiting activities and public relations. Members have a variety of different ways that they can get involved. Chapters meeting all requirements and submitting the form will receive a special ribbon for chapter delegates attending the National Leadership Conference. Next, Max will tell you about three membership recognition programs. Thanks, Bruna. We also have several ways for members to earn individual recognition. Our main programs are the Business Achievement Awards, or BAA, for FBLA, Career and Membership Achievement Program, or CMAP, for PBL, and the new LEAD program for FBLA Middle Level. Each of these programs offers members many options for activities from areas of leadership, education, and community service. Members earn a lapel pin for each level they complete. BAA has four levels. Future, Business, Leader, and America. The three levels of CMAP are Director, Executive, and President. LEAD also has three levels, Bronze, Silver, and Gold. The top level of each of these programs are recognized at the National Leadership Conference. You can learn more about these and other recognition programs on our website. Next, Kimberly will talk about the National Fall Leadership Conference. Thanks, Max. We hope you are making plans to attend one of the National Fall Leadership Conferences this November. Each city will feature an FBLA state officer track where your FBLA state teams will learn how to use national programs and social media to recruit and retain members and be able to network as the kickoff for each site will be a state officer reception on Friday evening before the opening general session. Each city will also host FBLA Foundation offering FBLA freshmen and sophomore members a chance to learn about FBLA PBL and the leadership opportunities available while networking with national officers. And the FBLA middle level program designed specifically for our middle level members will be held exclusively at the New Orleans NFLC. PBL workshops will be offered at all three sites. However, St. Louis will offer several biz business tours for PBL members. Members can bring printed copies of their resumes to each NFLC to have it reviewed and critiqued by professional division members. 
Jumpstart your year by attending one of these conferences where members will be able to choose from a variety of workshops designed to not only help guide them in chapter activities, but also help develop personal and career skills. Next, Ryan will now talk about some of our business and service partners. Thanks, Kimberly. Our curriculum-related programs provide our members with unique opportunities to practice the skills and knowledge that they're learning in the classroom. From the virtual business challenge to lead to feed, the possibilities really are endless. Plan a visit to a local business for American Enterprise Day on November 15th and celebrate World Prematurity Awareness Day on November 17th by raising funds and awareness for the March of Dimes. Information on these programs and all of our partners can be found in the Chapter Management Handbook, which is now online on our website, www.fbla-pbl.org. Lisa, back to you. Thanks, Ryan. FBLA PBL Week, which is February 4th through the 10th, coincides with Career and Technical Education Month. Activities have been planned for each day of the week for members to get involved and get the word out about FBLA PBL. We encourage chapters to post photos on social media throughout the week with the hashtag FBLA PBL Week. Many local and state chapters also use this week to plan visits to business leaders and legislators where our members talk about the benefits that they have gained from being involved in a CTSO or Career and Technical Student Organization. At the state leadership conferences, students compete in events testing their business knowledge and skills. This is a pilot year for FBLA middle level, so for the first time, top state winners are now eligible to compete for national awards at the National Leadership Conference in five individual events and one chapter event. Each state may send one representative for each individual event and one team for the chapter community service project. States may modify the events or even offer additional ones. Always check your state guidelines if competing at the district, region, and or state level. Each state may also nominate one member to receive national recognition for the Young Leader Award. In addition to these events, members will also be able to take open events at the NLC. These include business ethics, digital citizenship, FBLA middle level facts, introduction to business communications, and parliamentary procedure concepts. FBLA offers more than 70 competitive events. New for this year, broadcast journalism in which members present a live seven-minute newscast to a panel of judges. Check the guidelines for required content. Also new this year, the Virtual Business Finance Challenge has been added as a competitive event. FBLA no longer uses projectors for preliminary presentation events. Competitors will present directly from their laptops or devices. This eliminates disadvantage, the disadvantage that some students experience if projectors don't work and creates a level playing field for all competitors. For finals, projectors may be used but are not required. Team events may consist of an individual or two to three members. This excludes parliamentary procedures and life smarts. Finally, please make note of the cancellation of FBLA mouse, Excel, and Word competitive events. We just received notice that CertiPort will no longer be sponsoring the mouse, Excel, and Word competitive events. Therefore, they will not be offered for our upcoming 2017-18 FBLA competitive events program. PBL offers more than 60 competitive events at the national level. New this year, an objective test on business knowledge has been added for future business executive. Also new for business communications, a writing exercise will be completed prior to the NLC. This exercise will be prejudged. PBL no longer uses projectors for presentation events. Competitors will present directly from their laptops and devices. We recently unveiled an updated website which has a great search engine. Each of the four divisions can be found on the home page. Once in each division, you can easily navigate to find poster and logo downloads, and for the student divisions, FBLA, FBLA Middle Level, and PBL, the online chapter management handbook, and a membership video designed to show at the beginning of a class or meeting. At just under three minutes in length, this video gives students a good overview of the different activities and conferences that they can participate in as a member. Membership and NFLC conference registration are both open. Don't forget, the first membership deadline is October 20th. 
The sooner members are paid, the sooner they get their membership cards and other benefits. Now here's Bruna to talk about social media. Whoops, excuse me, I jumped ahead of, I jumped ahead. Excited, I guess, to present it. So I forgot one very important tool, and that's the FDLA advisor area. So advisors, if you have not done so already, I encourage you to sign up for the advisors area of the national website. There are tools available for you and your officers to help with recruitment, fundraising, preparing for competitive events, and planning successful projects. New to this area are five-minute mini-workshops prepared by national officers on leadership and parliament procedures that you can show at a local chapter meeting. You will also find an advisor resource guide that contains tips for fundraising, recruitment, and how to participate in national programs. Now Bruno will talk about social media. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. FBLA PDL members constantly use technology, so use it to your advantage. When students join your chapter, ask for their cell phone numbers and email addresses. Divide up the list among your local chapter officers so they can text, te so they can text reminders to all members about meetings, projects, or activities. If your members are active on Facebook, create a page or group for your, for your chapter to keep everyone up to date on the latest chapter news and announcements. Have a chapter scavenger hunt where members find information on the national website. There is a lot of useful information about national programs, partners, scholarships, and awards. Be sure to use social media to promote your chapter. Create a chapter Instagram account to share photos from your meetings, events, and projects. And follow the national FBLA PDL social media accounts to see the latest information and announcements. You can get these directly from our national website. The NFLCs aren't the only national conferences this year. The best and brightest of FBLA and PBL convene to compete, network, and earn recognition, attend exciting workshops, and visit exhibitions at our National Leadership Conference next summer in Baltimore, Maryland. Next year's NLC will be here before you know it, so start working now to earn your place at this wonderful event. Now here's Lisa. Thank you, Bruna. Now it's time for us to answer your questions. If we run out of time before we get to your question, we, we will email you individually. Looks like we had several questions submitted, so we'll start with the first question, and that's from Marilyn in Wisconsin. She would like to know why each of you joined FBLA PBL and what's the biggest benefit that you've gained from your membership. We'll start with Max, then Bruna, then Kimberly, and then Ryan. Thanks, Lisa, and thanks, Marilyn, for the question. Uh, when I was in eighth grade, I joined because I saw the coolest state leadership uh, conference Think Back video, and it just showed how much fun people could have in FBLA. And so when I joined, I loved the competition aspect of it. But over the years from my membership since middle school, I found that the strongest uh, aspect of FBLA that I've gained uh, benefit from is the leadership opportunities you have to run for office. You know, when I was a freshman, I forgot my speech uh, on stage when I was running for district office. And to me, that was a low point, but it also showed everything FBLA had to offer for members and, and, and other uh, members and advisors. So for me, the leadership aspect about growing from such a low point to being able to speak in front of the National Leadership Conference in Anaheim, that shows how strong FBLA can serve its students, its members, and its advisors. Thanks, Max. Bruna? Um, so when I started high school, I already knew that I wanted my professional career to be business oriented. So I joined what was at the time the only business related organization at my school with the hopes of increasing my knowledge of the field and seeking new opportunities through the organization. However, soon after I joined FBLA, I realized that we're so much more than just students interested in business and we're an organization that focuses on building passionate and successful individuals with once in a lifetime opportunities to grow your knowledge and network and the network I've gained and will continue to build through my FBLA PBL career is definitely the biggest benefit I gained for my, mem for my membership. Um, I've gotten the chance to meet amazing and talented individuals who have so much passion for our organization and inspire me to be a better person each and every day, and that's something that I'll always be thankful for. Thanks, Bruna. Kimberly? Thanks for the question, Marilyn. Um, so to answer your question, I would have to say that I joined FBLA when I was um, a freshman in high school, and I joined for, um, for honestly, the the free food and 
the field trips that were promised to me. And of course, as I went through the years, um, throughout my high school experience, I realized that FBLA was a place where you could make your dreams come true and you could, you could get up on stage and be called um, as a national winner in any of our national competitions and you could become a leader and you could become whoever you wanted to be. So, um, of course, then I had to continue into college and join the Phi Beta Lambda, which is our collegiate division. And I would just say that the greatest benefit I gained from my membership uh, in FBLA and PBL is definitely the relationships that I've formed with all of the amazing people I've met in the organization throughout the years. You know, they become some of your best friends and help you there through some of the greatest accomplishments of your life. Thanks, Kimberly. And last but certainly not least, Ryan. Great question. Thanks, Marilyn. Uh, Marilyn, I actually joined FBLA when I was in high school because my business teacher, who was the co-advisor for my chapter, mentioned that there would be free pizza at an upcoming meeting. I didn't even know what FBLA was, but I did know that pepperoni pizza was my favorite thing. Well, I guess it still is. Um, but I quickly learned, though, that the organization would open a lot of doors for me. It introduced me, actually, to graphic and web design, which helped push me into a career in advertising. Uh, through leadership positions, I've, I've been able to meet so many people from all over the country. In fact, when I moved from my home state of Nevada to Rhode Island, where I attended Johnson Wales University on a daily scholarship, um, actually, I stayed along that entire journey on the road trip with people that I met during my time in FBLA PBL. So I definitely would not be where I am today if I hadn't been such a pizza-hungry teenager. But it just goes to show that free food actually does work. Thanks, Ryan. The next question is from Tom in Florida, and it's for Ryan. He wants to know what it's the benefit of recruiting professional members for his chapter. Uh, good question. Hey, Tom. The best thing about the professional division is that it provides a ton of opportunities for our members who are still in school to connect with people who have real-world experiences. I can't tell you how important that is. It not only helps keep you up to date on trends that are happening in the world, but it also allows you to take kind of what you've learned in the classroom and really apply that knowledge to what you'll actually encounter when you enter the workforce. So by recruiting PD members, you're building a network of people that you and really other members in your chapter and in your city um, or your town or your area can tap into. But if that's not incentive enough for you, though, we do offer some recognition for recruiting PD members. For both FBLA and PBL, we give one local award and one state award in the fall. And then at the NLC over the summer, again, for both FBLA and PBL, we give two awards per region plus additional award, awards for um, some of the overall winners. So between the professional development and the awards that you can receive, there are a ton of really good reasons to recruit PD members. Thanks, Brian. This question is from Susan in Texas, and it's for Max. She says, I've often heard that it's good to start out with an elevator speech when talking to students about FBLA. What's your elevator speech? Well, my elevator speech, again, thank you for the question. My elevator, my elevator speech mainly revolves around telling people what FBLA has to offer them. And I actually, today we had Club Rush at our school, so I'll go ahead and give you a snapshot of what we discussed. Hi, welcome. FBLA revolves around competitions, community service, and a bunch of different field trips and traveling opportunities to help you grow your business acumen and leadership skills. And usually what we do when we have this elevator speech with us, we want to make sure we cover our mission statement, which is to bring business and education together in a positive working relationship. And that may manifest itself in different forms, you know, if you want to talk about competitions or community service or traveling opportunities, uh, getting that message out there is so important. But uh, as other people, as Ryan has said and as Kimberly has said, uh, if you give something to prospective members, it's a lot of, it, it brings them in a lot more and it, it definitely makes your job easier when you're, you're spreading the message of FBLA. But definitely my elevator speech is very simple, very to the point, because usually people are most interested in competing and traveling. So that's what I try to highlight in my elevator speech. Thanks, Max. Those are some good points that you hit on. 
The next question is for Kimberly, and it's from Felicia, who's a PBL member in Georgia. And she says that she's thinking about going to the National Fall in St. Louis. What are some reasons why she should attend and spend the money to go? Hi, Felicia. Thank you for your question. Um, being from Missouri, the National Fall Leadership Conference in St. Louis is something that's very important to me this year. So I'm glad that you're thinking about coming, and I really hope you do. So uh, St. Louis in particular is awesome for PBL members. This year at the National Leadership Conference in Anaheim, California, the PBL officer team debuted business tours where PBL members could sign up and go visit different businesses and get uh, perspective from actual business owners and business professionals in the Anaheim area. Well, we're actually bringing that with us to St. Louis, and we have several business tours that are in the works for St. Louis that are going to be very exciting and very informative to help PBL members get that experience and uh, get that point of view into the business world. Uh, in addition, something that the PBL National Officer Team has proposed this year is to bring a networking event uh, where we would raise money for the March of Dimes to each of the National Fall Leadership Conferences. And um, I'm working on getting a really exciting one planned for St. Louis. And so there's just going to be um, a ton of opportunities to network with other PBL members as well as expand your business horizon. And uh, in addition, my, my favorite reason to promote the uh, St. Louis NFLC is that we have a goal to make it the largest NFLC ever. So if you come, then you'll be making history by joining in our NFLC celebration. So we hope to see you and the rest of Georgia PBL in St. Louis, Felicia. Thanks, Kimberly. It looks like we have time for one more question. So the last question is for Bruna, and it's from, it's from Colleen, actually from Missouri, or Missouri. She is a chairman of her chapter's recruitment committee, and she would like you to give her some recruitment tips. Awesome. Thanks for the question. So with the beginning of a new school and membership year also comes new opportunities for our chapters in terms of recruitment. And the best recruitment tips I can give you are to make sure that students feel welcome and to promote in as many innovative ways as possible. So when you're at things like a recruitment fair or an informational meeting for your chapter, don't just talk about FBLA, but also make sure that the potential members know they're getting a new network and family through FBLA and that um, you make yourselves available to them and let them know that you're there to help with other things that aren't just related to FBLA, such as homework or any other things they, have, they might have going on in their lives. And then also make sure you're promoting as much as possible, whether that's through bulletin boards in your school, school announcements, and social media especially. Our generation is very social media based. And make sure you're highlighting the fun aspects of FBLA too. So different fun moments that you've had at conferences, post things like conference flashback videos. Just make sure that you promote the fun times that you have in FBLA as well. Thanks, Bruna. Those are some great tips. We thank you for joining us today. Don't miss out on, on our next webinar with more information on the upcoming NFLCs, which is scheduled for Wednesday, October 4th at 4 p.m. Eastern time. The presentation hosted by FBLA PBL Conference Director Richard Bowen will offer a sneak peek at the three upcoming NFLCs, which will be held in November. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope you have a great week.